Who is new to printing? This one, actually. I'm not going to turn it off, but this is an on and off button, and then it's open kind of like this too, and then it comes out, so it's easier to see. Make sure that it is on, and the blue light comes on. This is where the paper comes out when you print it. If you have a large paper, this also helps too, but for now, it probably you don't need it. There are two places that you like to open. You feel like you like to open. This is what you you will really need to open. This is where you sneak in and then see what is going on, if it is really printing or not. But I wouldn't open this because the dust gets in, and if the dust is on the surface of the printer, the paper, the ink gets sprayed on the dust, and the dust peels, and you see the wipes. So try not to be patient. It's difficult for me actually, but just hold on to it and then not open. This paper, this side and this side. This this side is a printable side. And this is always what you like to see. If you see a writing Epson Epson, that is you have to think that, well, it's not right. So this is what you like to see. Epson side. It's back, glossy side, printable side towards you. Okay. And then this may say something different than what you set up, but don't worry about changing anything on this old uh, sheet, uh, the sheet feeder part. Just go ahead and go back to the, the, the home page. Just bring it back to where it was. Okay. So the paper is set. Make sure that this guide is nice and tight enough so that it won't get skewed. If it is too tight, it gets skewed too, but it's just kind of nice and movable. Now, you like to go in here and then print. And it will start to print. After you make prints, these lights are not really uh, ideal lighting condition to make a final decision. We have a lighting box in the front, and then also in the mini lab, we have a, a viewing box. And that is where you should bring your prints and then take a look at your picture.